We're honored to be joined today by Tony Robbins, the inspirational speaker, entrepreneur, and best-selling author. Welcome, Tony. Good to see you. Good Thanks you for having too. me on. Yeah, it's great to have you. Let's talk about people's feelings about money. It is complicated. Um, it's often self-defeating. Yeah. Um, what do you find that people get wrong when they think about what money means to them? It's such a charged subject, you know, that people tie it into spirituality, good, bad. And I, I think the first thing you have to do is you've got to get yourself in the game. I mean, you got to understand the game is still winnable. I think for most people, like you said, it's so complex. And frankly, the financial industry makes it complex. When a person with experience, as we all know, matches the person with money, the person with experience ends up with your money. <laughs> so a lot of very financially astute people are not great investors. To be a great investor, you have to be able to make decisions without perfect knowledge. In your business, you have a lot of knowledge. You can make those decisions. You're in control, and not so much so on the investment side. So the first step is not to wait till you have a huge sum of money, because the illusion is, when I have more money, then I'll invest, then it'll be worthwhile. The most important thing is get started with whatever you have. Because if you do that, you get to tap into the power of compounding. We all know about, but very few people use. I'll give you an example, a guy named Theodore Johnson. You probably never heard of him. Worked for UPS never made more than $14,000 in an entire year of his life, and yet when he retired, he had $70 million and he didn't inherit a dime. So how do you do that? A friend of his said, you've got to stop being a consumer and you've got to become an owner. You've got to become an investor. And he said, I have no money to invest. I make $14,000 a year. And his friend said, no one has the money to invest. But if the government came by and put a 20% tax above what you're paying now, you'd scream, you'd yell, and you'd ban it. You're, you're, you'd adjust. I'm gonna make you a wealthy man. He took the 20% off the top, never let him see it, put it straight in the investment account. It was worth 70 million compounding my time he was in retirement. So people don't really get how powerful that is. You don't earn your way to a fortune, you invest your way, you compound it. Most people are trading time for money. And as an entrepreneur, that's the worst trade you can ever make. What I try to do is say, listen, whether you're an operator or owner, let's set up this business on the side, and a financial business with no employees, that will be an extraordinary economic nest egg that brings you income for life, so you're free to do your business on your terms. But you have gotta get started. The second thing is, you've really gotta become an insider, as corny as that sounds. What you don't know will hurt you. And so, I, I give you two simplistic things that most people probably have heard of, but they haven't applied. Almost everybody when they go, where do I invest? Well, 90% of the population puts it through a 401k. 90% of those put it into a mutual fund. Makes sense. I'd go to someone who's going to manage my funds for me. They're going to make better decisions than if I just put the money in the market or an index fund. It's just not true. 96% of all mutual funds fail to match the market over a ten, any 10-year 10 period of time. I interviewed mean, Nobel laureates. I've looked through the statistics. It's a fact. You go, I'm smart. I'm going to find the 4% that succeed. 96%, but I'm going to find the 4%. Do you play blackjack? No, I don't. If you watch it and somebody gets two face cards worth 20 and you can't go over 21, there's only one card you can get to go higher. It's an ace. Do you stay or ask, hit me? Yeah. Well, if your inner idiot says, hit me, you have an 8% chance of getting that ace. Yeah. You have a 4% chance of finding the right mutual fund. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I tell people is, you don't want to go there. The other piece you got to understand is that fees do matter. Business owners have to understand something. The Department of Labor passed a new law just a few years ago that requires you and I as business owners that if we have a 401k for our employees, we are the fiduciary. We are legally responsible. And we have to make sure every year we measure our 401k against the other ones to make sure it's one of the best, that we're not being overcharged for fees. 99.9% .9 of business owners I speak to have no clue that they have this requirement to benchmark each year. They don't do it. The Department of Labor just hired a thousand auditors, and those thousand auditors have found 70% of the people they audit are out of compliance, and the average fee to the owner is $600,000 in penalties. So I, I, when I saw this, I was like, this is crazy. I want to have the best thing for my employees. I thought I did. I had a big brand name. I brought in this company called America's Best 401k. They came in and said, we give the best, best possible, lowest cost, but access to the same exact stocks and bonds. And they started showing me that somebody's paying 1% in fees versus 3%. The average mutual fund, according to Forbes, is 3.1%. That difference is almost 50% of your earnings over time. In other words, two people could start out with the same money, $100,000, and they grow it at 7% for 30 years. And one of those people paying 1% is going to have almost $600,000, 100 to 600. That's the growth. To be specific, it's 500 to give you an idea, and 74,000. Uh -huh. But the person who paid 3% in fees still got a 7% return. Same stock, same bonds, just a different environment. 3% fees, they got 324,000. So 40%, $250,000 is gone. For what? If I said to you that I, I want you to invest in something, with Eric, here's what we want to do. I want you to put up all the money. I want you to take all the risk. I'm going to put up no money, take no risk. I win when you lose, and I win you win, and when you win, I win up to 60% of all you're ever going to earn. 
you, you wouldn't invest in that in a million years, but that's 90% <laughs> of all mutual funds. America's Best 401k came in and we were paying almost 2.9% for my employees, and now we're paying 75 basis points. The difference between that is like buying a Honda Accord for 20,000 or paying 250,000 for the same exact product. So I partnered with them now, and that's another business that I'm involved with, America's Best 401k. And people can go to America's Best 401k as an owner. Mm -hmm. You can put in your, you know, the name of your plan or have someone do it for you, and it'll tell you exactly what your fees are, and it'll show it, it'll give you a benchmark, so you have that for your file if you're ever audited, but also they can convert over for $1,000 if you want to convert to their format. So I'm a passionate man about these areas. So you've got to get started, and you've got to become an insider, or you're going to get taken advantage of. So don't try to beat the market. Be careful of the fees you pay. Yes.